Yeah, let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, it's been a rowdy week down on the ranch. Okay, let's jump right in. First off, Mr. Isis, we're sure enough sorry we had to cap two of your jihad warriors just because they showed up to kill a bunch of cartoonists what was drawing pictures of that Mexican you call a prophet. Y'all get downright irritated when you show up and don't get to kill a bunch of folks. Now, I understand your religion and all of what not like naked girls or ham and eggs or whiskey or pictures of anything, but if you want to straighten out a bunch of infidels, might I suggest the Nuevo Laredo Whorehouse. You can find a lot of sin down there. Oh, just ignore them fellers with them dots tattooed over their eyebrows. Don't pay them no mind. Just rush in guns a-blazing and see how that works out for you. I actually ended up with one god-awful debate somewhere over in India with the cutest little Jap I ever laid eyes on. Y'all know me, I was too busy looking at her profile picture for the first ten minutes. I wasn't paying no mind to the words she said. Then she called me a misogynist. Now, being a Texan, I pronounced that misogynist, and the root word was apparently massage. And her being Asian, I took that to mean that she loved me a long time. Well, our relationship fell quickly apart right after that. And I think basically she just wanted to put me in a cage somewhere and set me on fire, screaming Aloha Salad Bar, or, you know, words to that effect. But God, she was beautiful when she was mad. From there, we progressed to Jade Helm 15. Now, I'm just as crazy as the next Texan, but I bought right into this. I don't like Americans coming down here, but when I found out it was going to be UN troops, Americans are bad enough, but foreigners? <laughs> Hide the women folk. My grandmother told me that all them people over there are born with a clap. They get it from the mamas. The men pee right in the street and the women there don't wash properly down there. I was all pent up about that till I found out the whole story came out of Alex Jones. Now, I'm not saying Alex was wrong. I'm just saying if you want to kill a good conspiracy theory, just let it come out of prison planet. And right away, the public thinks we're all wearing tinfoil stetsons. And, of course, the cops are shooting everybody. I almost wish I could have met up with them two boys in Garland before they got out of that car. I would have just told them, dudes, they shoot us for using a cell phone. What would you expect? To be honest, Texas cops don't shoot near as many as cops in states where the Second Amendment ain't in place. I wonder if there's a correlation to that. Open carries, moving through the legislative process. Hey, look, certain people can open carry their underwear. Why can't we just carry a pistol? Even a small, cute one. The libs say it intimidates people. Uh, well, why, do, why do cops do it? You know? They carry a gun, an electric chair, a knife, and a stick. Did you know that you can't carry a stick in Texas? It's against the law. I was once arrested for possession of a stick. And don't let a kid draw a picture of a gun in school. I wonder if I suspect thought a little bit different than cartoonists just drawing pictures of guns. Well, well, now listen, this is satire, okay? I feel a need to give that disclosure. Uh, when I resort to satire at times, it's because if I use a lot of four-syllable words and try to speak as adults, a lot of you liberals just don't listen. <laughs> well, that's the news for today. I'm taking the weekend off, and I'm going to drink me some whiskey, and uh, I'll see you all probably on Sunday. I'll write a sermon or something. Let's see, push this button.